Thanks for joining us on Inside California Education. Science education in California is evolving with the adoption of what's known as next generation science standards. It involves students working together in teams, developing hands-on projects, and connecting science experiments to the real world. Let's see how these new standards are playing out at a school in Oakland. <laughs> six times around the beacon, and then we got to connect the ends of the wire to the back. See? These young scientists at Edna Brewer Middle School in Oakland are working on an experiment that did not come from a textbook. Instead, the hypothesis was designed, planned, and executed by the students. Kids came up with questions like, long nail versus short nail, does that make a more powerful magnet? Does it matter how many times I wrap the wire? What if I use a different battery? What how does the batteries compare? Most teachers, they make up the lesson plan and then we have to follow it. Like we have to copy things down from the board and stuff, but we can make our own experiment and what we want to find out, we can find out with our knowledge. Empowering students to design their own science experiments it's just one aspect of what's known as the Next Generation Science Standards. The standards were developed by a consortium of 26 states. They were adopted here in California by the State Board of Education in 2013 and are now being rolled out across the state with pilot programs in places like the Oakland Unified School District. Really, we're working on getting students to do science the way that scientists do it. And I think that's a much more engaging way to learn science. And this also prepares them to have a a different skill set than you might have if you only were memorizing the facts of biology, for example. It's less rote memorization and less fill in the bubbles and multiple choice questions. It is hands on. State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tom Torlickson is a former science teacher himself and an advocate for the new standards. He says it harkens back to how we taught science in the 1970s. I did more hands on learning and lab more field trips, when we went on backpacking trips, uh, we would talk about clear cutting versus uh, lumber practices that would lead to sustainable forests. We talked about the pollution coming into the delta and the health of the salmon and the bass fisheries. Like science education of the past, the updated standards teach kids about how humans are impacting the world they live in. Topics like climate change and ocean acidification are blended into the curriculum. All young people will become adults who will vote and make consumer decisions. So understanding science and what they could do to lessen the carbon load on the atmosphere, what they could do to help preserve our water supply. And these are kinds of lessons that the new generation of science standards will give our students a chance to understand. Team captain for each table, please. I want to make sure that you read the question together and you discuss it in your group. And when you get to like, all right, that sounds good, let's all write. Another thing that's different about this science class, you won't find students hitting the books before a big test. Our notebook is our textbook, and we don't have a textbook, so our notebook, everything we write in there is sort of our textbook. So this is what we're doing today. This is our investigation plan. And we did this yesterday, and we came up with um, our question and, like, the variables um, that we're changing. And here we have, like, our vocabulary. So we have like the definition and then we draw a picture that helps us remember what the word is. We're moving away from kids sitting in rows, keep your eyes on your own paper, don't talk to your neighbor. See, it's a collaborative work. That's what Facebook, uh, Google, the, they have work teams and that was the skill that they felt students were lacking was the uh, ability to collaborate and come up with a better product. So we're teaching them that as well. We can share ideas with the people around us instead of um, staying quiet and just doing our own thing. It gives us a chance to spread our ideas. All of these changes come with a learning curve, not just for the students, but also for the science teachers like Jerry Johnstone. Our thing has been to use these popsicle sticks okay. as an insulator. But I'm trying to engineer too. So we had a problem, I engineered a solution. This is a battery holder. It requires me to be able to do the science too. And sometimes I have to go like investigate some things myself. And it encourages me to keep doing that too. Like building a battery holder from a 3D printer because we were 
getting our fingers warm. I think one of the biggest challenges and opportunities is, is getting the word out to all of these teachers and giving teachers a chance to be able to have a space where they can experiment with these new standards and think about how their teaching might change. This is something that teachers are welcoming. Uh, generally speaking, teachers want some support and help with professional development, but it won't be that idea that the teacher reads a chapter in the science book. They won't just be reading a chapter and then lecturing to the students and asking the students to take notes. It takes me a long time to grade their work because it's not circles on a piece of paper where I can look at it. They, they're writing down their ideas. And while the new science standards have been controversial in other parts of the country, particularly because of what they say about climate change, Superintendent Torlakson says there's been strong support in California. The news here is that we had local input. We welcomed it. And it wasn't a partisan football. It wasn't about politics. It was what's best for our students so they'll have the skill set when they get out of high school to be ready to go into a career path right away or to go to college and then get into a career path. They'll have that skill set. The next generation science standards have a three-dimensional learning approach. The first called practices focuses on how scientists and engineers work in the real world. The second, cross-cutting concepts, helps students view their surroundings through a scientific lens. The third, core ideas, is a curriculum that should be taught in the science classroom. It's no secret that college costs are on the rise. With in-state tuition 